Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. I'm pumping videos out today. <clears throat> so, this one's gonna be on my leather sheaths that I've made over the years. This is the first one I ever made. I made this when I was like 12 or 13 years old. It's for my uh, charade, I don't even know, old timer, old made in the USA one. Good knife, lighter than a buck 110. Yeah, stole the leather from my old man, and shit, I wore this up until I was almost 20 years old. That was the first one I made. Second one I ever made was uh, this one for my uh, Cold Steel Recon Scout. I did have an old weight belt. You can see, I mean, the, the leather on that was thick, though. That was good leather to use. Still, <laughs> still has the name of it on there. But still sticking with the uh, pop rivet construction. Some of the, like right here, you can see I use screws because uh, the pop rivet's too short to go through and peen over. That's my second one. Third one I ever made was for my Cold Steel Trailmaster. I hate the sheath that uh, comes with them, just pulls the knife out. Um, same pop rivet construction. Not perfect with my drilling. I hand drilled all these holes. Um, and, uh, you know, some of them you can see they're, they're squished over weird. Um, didn't, didn't do the most fantastic job on this one, but it's definitely functional. And, and the belt loop sucks. I mean, I don't even know what I was thinking. But it works. Next one I made was for my Ontario... SP5? No. Yeah. SP10, sorry. Um, put a little frog, I don't know what you even call it on there. But I got better with drilling. I also made this one out of a, uh, not a weight belt, but um, nice thick leather. Look at that. Um, I made it out of a some kind of horse thing. I don't know, like a I don't know. It was just reused leather. But worked out good. Up next was my uh, S or what, MTech 151 sheath. I actually bought the leather for this. Um, still pretty good thick leather, though. I put uh, this loop on here. I don't know why. I tend to just... Because there's no retention strap, but it doesn't really need one. It kind of sticks in there pretty good. But I just, the way I leave it is like this. This is the one I carry with me every day. I put these two little uh, clips on here so you can, you can attach a, like a, I don't know, like a shoulder thing to it and you can carry it around. It holds it perfectly level. You just grab it from the side, grab it out like this. Um, next one I made is for my son. He's a lefty, the sheath that came with it. Um, this little knife, it's a little cold steel mini leather neck. I mean, you can see that, you know. Um, he's left-handed, so he needed a left-handed sheath. And I was like, well, shit, I'll make one. You can see I, I reused some of that. This one was made out of also a horse, horse saddle leather or something like that, reused. You can still see it was like an old belt or something. <clears throat> but it works. He carries it. Don't go nowhere. Ain't coming out. As you can see until now, minus this one, the theme. Pop rivets, pop rivets, pop rivets. Um, kind of got tired of it and uh, figured I could do better. So then this is the next one I made. And I was like, you know, still pop rivets, but for the most part, I sewed it. I still like to rivet what I consider the... Uh, the points that are gonna be need the most, uh, you know, if, you, if you're gonna pull it apart or cut through it or drop it or I don't know, just where the most stress is gonna be. Uh, the leather die is doing something funky on this one. I don't know why, but uh, this one I need to still put a, a retention strap on because it's it doesn't have any retention. I gotta figure that out still, but 
from this point I went with uh, going with sewing trying trying to stitch my leather now I'm never gonna go away from rivets but I'll try to stitch more next one is for my uh, cold steel uh, got what, SRK that I made um, did the bat wing thing um, this is when I had the problem with the stretching out but still sewed it um, turned out okay a lot of people seem to like it it looks good in the sheath and then the most recent one posted a couple videos on already is this guy but you can see how I'm kind of going away from riveting and kind of bringing it more towards sewing it and getting a little more not fancy but I'm uh, trying to upgrade my leather ability so yeah this isn't all the ones I made I made a couple more but for people or friends or neighbors or whatever but these are all my sheaths that I've made for knives that I have and yeah I'm uh, kind of looking forward to making more I really like leather craft so far